Alright, hello. Uh, today we're going to be learning a bit about Computer Craft. Um, it's a pretty cool mod. Um, I am currently on Feed the Beast. Um, this is also implemented in Utekit. Um, these these are monitors here. Pretty cool how they're kind of snapped to each other, you know, making certain size monitors if they're a square. And these are computers. Now, both of these can be found in the recipe thing at the bottom. So if you, you are using um, Feed the Beast or Tech It, you can search it up and check the recipe. But if not, it should be on the screen now. Um, yeah, these are it. And uh, we're going to be doing some basic coding at the minute. Um, so what you want to do is you want to right click on there and you want to edit start up. So now you're in there. What you want is you want to put some text on the monitor. Now you could all go through the peripheral wrap side. You know, you really you you just you want to do that, but you want to create like some sort of variable for some monitor monitor can't spell equals peripheral peripheral dot wrap hold on bracket and then you put the side that your monitor is on so now that you've done that what you want to do is you want to clear the monitor first off you want to make sure the monitor is nice and clear see so there's a function called clear but monitor dot clear so then what you do is you can uh, peripheral no we don't need to do since monitor yeah I'm getting all confused myself monitor dot set cursor pause and then you want to put some coordinates in so I'm just going to keep minus one one see see if where that ends up on the screen we can always come back and change the code um, what we also want to put is um, monitor dot set text scale and then we want to put like a, a value in so s big monitor so we'll put five we'll try five and if it doesn't if it's too big then what we want to do is monitor dot write and we want to put this in like uh, speech mark things go hello there and what you want to do then is you want to control s um, what we do then is we want to go to control and then use mouse uh, no arrow keys to move along to exit and press enter or you can just press e um, depends whatever you want to do it doesn't matter either way then we want to type reboot there we go the computer what the what computer done there is reboot and since the start of code is start up it, as soon as it starts up it runs the start of code it, it makes sense now here we have hello uh, clearly it's a bit too big to show the rest of the text which is unfortunate it doesn't ah oh, must yeah this is this is a bit glitchy so what we're going to do is we're just going to right click back on our computer edit start up and we're just going to change this down to you know say three see that yeah. and then reboot it again ooh so close now what I might do is I think you know this I, I've got and there's plenty of space on that monitor why don't I use the full potential of the monitor so that's what I'm going to do um, when I get here I'm going to remove this so I'm going to just have hello I'm going to make this back onto 5 I'm going to put another monitor dot set cursor pause and I'm going to this time make it 2 Hopefully this will work, and then monitor dot right, and then there here. So hopefully, if I've got my coordinates mixed up, when I reboot this, what should happen is it should have it on the bottom line. 
So basically what it's done is it's done one, two, but that depends on the size of the text, obviously. Um, what we've done there is, if we look at the code, we've just put, say, an extra line in. If you imagine this bit being a line in a sentence, so this will still be the same if I change this to, say, two, which is, I know it's a bit small for a screen like this. But it still creates an extra line, so we can sort of create lines of text. Um, the only way this would not work, and um, the reason I've done this code is because there is a simpler way to do it, but this is the best way because it's stable when you go on a server, it stays on even if the server resets. Um, if you're on a single player world, um, it definitely works and you, you don't have to worry about it. If, say, if, if you're on a server like and the server crashes, um, most of the time the, w the simpler version of this will not work. It'll print it, it, it'll work in the thing here, it'll come up here, but it won't come up on the monitor because the simpler version requires you to sort of print it onto the monitor rather than but when you when you start it up from a reboot often what happens is it just prints it to the command line so that would be if that's that that'll be uh, that'll be it um so I know it was kind of a pretty basic tutorial um probably not the best one you've ever seen ever um but I do try um if you would like to see more like LUA coding for this for computer craft and a bit more on computer craft uh, well just like this video and ask for some more um, I'll be doing some more anyways I think uh, I'll do what I know I'm not the best to code but I, you know I manage I manage but there we go thanks for watching bye